Do you ever find yourself reaching for candy because you're just itching for a burst of incredible flavor? I'm Hannah Mason, and in this episode of You Don't Know Beans, we're going to be exploring how you can get all of that amazing flavor with none of the chemicals and sugar and junk, mostly by eating oh-so-delicious berries. So these are raspberries. I want to open the box so we can like look at them and smell them. I'm going to bring them up close to the camera. This here is a raspberry. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got all these little bumpy things on it. And what, one of the things I want you to notice is how incredibly drawn you are to the color. The color is so deep and rich. And you'll notice sometimes when you buy a raspberry, it might be kind of like a palish color. And then sometimes the color is just so much deeper and richer and is calling out to you. Raspberries, as they ripen, first they start out totally green, and then they go pale, and then they're a pale pink, and then they get deeper and deeper and deeper until they're like this really, really rich pink color. And the richer the color is an indication, just like with any other food, but berries, you really see it. The richer the color, the indication that there are so many more phytonutrients in the food. Um, so we've got vitamins and minerals that are indicated by color. For example, foods that are rich in iron are rich in this kind of color. So I know that raspberries have a lot of iron in them simply because they're red. So iron make things, if you think about rust um, and all the different colors that are in rust, we're talking about uh, reds and browns and purples and blues. So those kinds of foods, um, it also just so happens that, that uh, green, leafy greens also have a lot of iron. Um, so the reds kind of indicate that. And also all of the, the nutrients that bring all of the color to fruits and vegetables um, are also an indication of anti-cancer compounds and lots of delicious things that just yum, they taste so good, right? The richer the taste, it's also an indication that you have more sugar and more nutrients, and that's exactly what you need. Your brain needs sugar, it also needs all of the vitamins and minerals, and berries are oh so good. So one thing that I recommend when you buy berries is that you eat them pretty much right away. Berries don't last very long, particularly raspberries and blackberries. They go bad very quickly. So when you buy them, eat them within a day or two and just down them. They're oh so good. Um, raspberries also, because they break apart very easily, are really fantastic for putting into, let me get that to stop bobbing, um, for putting into a fruit salad and you get all the little berry pieces. I know berries can be expensive, so you can use the fact that they break up really easily to stretch them out into a fruit salad made up of other fruits that might be less expensive like apples and bananas and oranges and you're still getting that phytonutrient punch but more spread out. Another thing that's really great with berries is that they help to tamper the bitterness in greens. So I want to give you my favorite green, recipe, green salad recipe. Um, you take either spinach or Swiss chard or kale and depending on their size, obviously you're gonna chop them up. And then you're gonna make a salad dressing with lemon juice, balsamic vinegar, I actually like the combination of the two, mustard, and then something sweet. So you can use fresh dates, or you can use maple syrup, or date honey, or fresh um, unheated, like unpasteurized bee honey. Um, and put some dried or fresh parsley. And uh, because leafy greens have a lot of fat soluble vitamins, you need a little bit of fat in your dressing. So you can either chop up a little bit of avocado or add some fresh nuts into your salad, or you can put a little bit of tahini um, or tahina as we like to say in Israel, or any nut butter like peanut butter or almond butter into your salad dressing. You only need a little bit of fat to help all of those fat soluble vitamins get absorbed into your body. And um, I recommend if you have a, like a bullet type of blender that'll just blend really well, um, you can blend it, zhuzh it in the blender, or you can just put the dressing into a jar and just shake like crazy. And then you have an incredible dressing. When you chop up the greens, you can also add uh, slices of apple or carrot or both, and you can add any other vegetables that you want. But something I really recommend is that you throw in fresh berries. 
There's some really interesting combination of berries with greens that the sweetness and the tartness of berries really cuts the bitterness in the greens. So if you're not used to eating greens and it's not something you've really acquired a, a flavor, a taste for, adding some sweetness um, and, and tartness into a salad can totally change everything. So already the vinegar is gonna help the greens to break down. When you put the dressing into the salad, you can literally massage the greens. With spinach, you do this less because spinach is such like a fragile soft green anyway. But with something like kale or Swiss chard, really massage those greens. It actually helps the cell walls to break open and for you to access the nutrients that are inside the greens. So you massage the greens with the salad dressing and the vinegar and the lemon juice and uh, salt, I forgot to mention salt, add salt to taste, is really gonna help all of that break down. And you add the berries in there and they're just gonna give so much flavor and so much color so you feel like you have a whole rainbow, especially if you put carrot into your salad and some cucumber and then you have greens and then you have the purples and the blues from the berries. Berries are a really, really important uh, part of a healthy diet. One of the other things that you can do with berries is buy them frozen. So I'll take frozen berries and throw them into a bowl and uh, before I start making my salad, and by the time I'm done making my salad, the berries have defrosted, and that's another way that you can add them into your salad. You can also add them into smoothies. And if you can fit, even if it's just a handful of berries into your diet every day, or as much as you can afford and stretch in there, it's really gonna help your body strengthen itself, strengthen its immune system, and fight diseases like cancer and heart disease. And if you're looking to up your vitality game, I recommend that you get in touch with me. I'm a vitality coach, it's what I do. We can set up a free discovery session either by contacting me here on Facebook or YouTube or by signing up on my website, hannamason.com. In the meantime, I wish you many little joys. Want to find out what's blocking your vitality? Quickly take the quiz at hannamason.com slash health quiz.